If you look at this park's map, it's accessible to everybody from all different corners, right? I mean, you've got multiple entries here, and now we're accessing nature uh, in a completely different way than we ever were before. It has enhanced the natural beauty of the park. The wildlife viewing blinds are a part of the park and you get to interact with them and you get to learn about San Antonio and nature. It's kind of a gateway for people to get into art through nature. They don't even notice it and that's what I think art should be. My name is Cade Bradshaw and I'm an artist. My name is Ashley Mireles and I'm an artist. The project at, at Hardberger Park is a wildlife blind and so you can sit inside this small metal structure look out and view the wildlife without distracting them. And my design is a sort of topographic elevation map. And so uh, there's a series of perforated steel layers and those stack to create an actual three-dimensional topographic form. And within that shape, there are animals uh, that are represented in the park. There's a green anole, there's a mockingbird, there's an owl, an armadillo, a free-tailed bat, and a bobcat. The blind that I worked on is made up from a line drawing of plants that are native to the park in this part of Texas. And so when you go into the blind, you'll be surrounded by a larger-than-life representation of those plants, but on all sides of you. And then at the same time, um, people will get a different effect of how the light plays into that as well throughout the day. We want people to interact with the piece and how they look at it and move around the space. And so when you approach the blind from the outside, you'll see um, a series of thin layers that are, that are built up to create an elevation map sort of of North San Antonio. But seeing how the plants grow naturally together as well um, definitely informed how I created the composition. I walked through the park, I experienced the park in person and from there, I started to use a computer to draw more concrete lines and, and fit those to the, to the envelope of the building. Well, the entire project has been great. You know, it's been um, a little bit over a year, and now we're in the production or fabrication phase, and it's really awesome to see it go from a very small drawing or a digital drawing to something that's 3D and physical and we can touch it and feel it and get a sense of how massive it's going to be. All right, so these are some of the pieces for the final blind. These will get joined together to be the final size panel. This is um, a portion of the blind and it has three different plants that are represented in it, including the Texas mountain laurel, the bushy blue stem, and the um, prickly pear. The team that's helping put the blind together are real professionals and working with Stimson Studio and San Antonio's Department of Arts and Culture has been extremely rewarding. The collaboration with Ashley has been, been great. I've been really lucky to work with her and we've had a really good mix of ideas. And um, we've had a lot of communication and check-ins and weekly meetings um, to, to, from the very beginning to talk about concepts to talk about how the blinds will talk to each other in a way. That way it is one cohesive project. It's the first time in about a year that I've been to site and I'm here to uh, witness the installation of the wildlife blinds as well as observing progress on the overall land bridge. Now we have trees on the site obviously, we're gonna have shrubs and grass in the next few weeks. The animals are going to start returning and I think it's all going to kind of fall into place. Well, I think this is uh, just a wonderful extra feature to our district and, and I think this really enhances the quality of life for the people who live in our community. San Antonio doesn't need to import art. We can manufacture some of the great art of the world uh, here because we've got geniuses like Kate Bradshaw. You know, I think it's wonderful that we always use our local artists as much as possible. I know Ashley Morales has a, a great reputation in our community. Having her work on this and develop this for us, I think is a really unique opportunity for the city to display the public artists that we have in this way. I've never worked on a public art project that is this large and it feels really awesome to see it come together. It feels really special and a little bit daunting to be have such a permanent piece in such an iconic location so it'll, it'll join a, 
collection of fabulous works in the City of San Antonio collection. Public art, at its core, is accessible. It's anybody can see it. You don't need a ticket to go see public art. So it's wonderful that we have an opportunity to provide this for our citizens of San Antonio, but also for our visitors and for anybody that wants to enjoy it. It's there. To preserve a part of San Antonio that people will enjoy, not only through my lifetime, but through many, many life cycles. The bridge itself was a necessity. We wanted to join the two halves of the park. And that in itself, being the only one like it in the United States, is something I think that San Antonio can be very proud of because they got behind it and made it happen. A jewel is not important if there's nobody to see it and appreciate it, of course. So I invite all the people to come here. They'll be seeing something they very likely have never seen before.